Right, so a dirt road led us to this old AME church, which is down another little dirt road to get down to it. Church may be still used. I don't know if it is or not. But what I wanted to show you is this old building over here, which looks like the original church. I would say that church is still used from the blinds on the windows, but it's it's pretty old. But I think this is the old church, the original church over here. And I wanted to show it to you guys and we'll take a look at it together. This is very cool. And you can probably see why. I believe it's the original church. Ooh, you can hear the floor creaking under my feet. Is the piano still here? This may have been an old, it looks like. From the outside, I was thinking maybe it was an old, oh look, there's a chimney with the, uh, where it would have been a wood-burning stove. And while this may have always been a church, it actually looked like it might have been a uh, an old school, one-room schoolhouse at one time that it used doubled as a church. And look at that. There's a skull. There's some kind of animal bone right there. And I guess that's a rat's nest. Actually, rat's nest. Sorry about the shoddy camera work there. That was all right. But a uh, rat's nest or can kind of date a place if the rat's nest has been around long enough. Because they find old newspapers and that sort of thing and drag them into their nest so if you find one in a rat's nest you can kind of get a date of the place but this is just a this really cool piece of history here it's a shame that it's falling in the old door lock on it that's cool and hey Brian was talking about this earlier the old shingle siding on it that looks like bricks well brian was probably talking about this on another video but siding on a house that was like a roofing material that looked like bricks and this old building has it you can really see it on this side This is, this is a cool place, I think. Let's take a look under, underneath it, like we like to do, or I like to do. I like to bring you guys with me when I do it. Nothing really to see under there. And it's funny because that church building over there looks pretty old. Of course, it's got a relatively modern annex on it. There might be a date on the back. I see something on the back. We'll take a look at that in a minute. But uh, it's just kind of cool to see where it started, if that's the case. So I don't know the history of this place, but I can tell you what I think the history is. I think this was an old one-room schoolhouse that doubled as a church, or a church that doubled as a schoolhouse. And these sorts of things are worth saving, or at least documenting before they fall completely down. I looked at the back of the church and at the marker I saw and there was only a date for the construction of that part, which was 1990. Let's take a look at the side of this building real quick. A 
Those look like round nails. So it's probably built post-1880. From a distance it looked like it was square nail construction. But they're both round nails. And there's a large cemetery behind the church that we're not going to take a look at today. Oh, here we go. Nineteen fifteen. It says renovated nineteen fifteen by Reverend S. Field Pastor. Interesting. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing this today. Two pieces of history. One that fortunately is still being used and still has a life. Another one that's not being used and won't be around much longer, but we've got it documented. So we'll see you on the next adventure. And don't forget, like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you later.